Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video. This is the series I'm putting together where we started off at Earth in the XR-5 Vanguard, took off, got into orbit, came all the way out to Vesta. Vesta is this little, uh, relatively tiny, um, I don't even think it's a dwarf planet, I think it's just a large asteroid, but it's out past the orbit of Mars, but before you get to Jupiter. And in the last video, we made it. Our timing for our velocity match burn could have been a bit better, but, but we, we got into orbit around Vesta. So now all I want to do is get uh, landed at the base and then we'll consider this mission complete. So let's go ahead and switch camera views here. Jump inside the XR5 Vanguard and yeah let's uh... so I, it's more important to me to land on the base during the day than it is to get perfectly lined up. So I'm hoping that on this orbit here uh, we'll get at least close enough, you know, our orbital plane will be close enough to the base that we can just do a uh, braking burn, come to a complete stop straight above the base or within a few kilometers of the base, and then just drop down and we'll use any, you know, engine thrust that we need to get lined up the rest of the way. So since that's the plan, let's go ahead and get things set up for that. Let me go to this view. Let's turn on the APU. Information. Let's put down the APU hover doors. Or open the hover doors, open the retro doors. And let's turn off the APU. And let's get our communication equipment dialed in. So control I. And I'm going to bring up the base. And I'm going to bring up, it's called daylight. Not that one, but daylight. And I don't have a long range, so we're just going to go... I don't know, I don't, why didn't I set up a long range? I don't know. So we're just going to put in for landing pad one, because there's three landing pads, and they're not really landing pads, they're more just like blast zones. So we're just going to land in the first blast zone. So 1, 15, uh, 50, 60, 70, so it doesn't really matter, so I guess we'll go for three. Actually, let's land in the middle one, because I think the middle one's the biggest. So let's go for 1, 15, 60. So 1, 15, 60. And I'll have to remember at some point to add in a long-range beacon. Alright, so let's see. What else can we do? I guess one thing we could do, we could use our GPS VTOL MFD and target the base this way so we can have long-range information. So that would be 84.29 east and 4.46 north. Okay. So yeah, we can yeah we can maybe make use of this so that we're not uh, guessing so much. Okay, so we only need like a kilometer away from the base to get rid of our velocity. So let's go ahead and warp time forward. And I really hope the day-night terminator doesn't completely pass, so it's not going to. And just by luck, we're gonna have a pretty decent alignment here. So let's track our position. Let's zoom in a few times. So it's not gonna be a perfect alignment. We'll have you know some correction to do and honestly rotation uh, so if I let me, let me think about this let me go down to 0 0.1 so if I do this right I can line up with the base by orienting the vessel one way or the other and putting in some main engine burn I never get this right uh, so let me think if I so I'm approaching the base backwards so if I want to get closer to the base, so if I'm, a, oh, well, so confusing. So I want to, so if I, let's say I was going forwards and I wanted to get closer to the base, I would want the thrust coming out of that direction to push the line that way. So it should be the other way around, right? Should be that way. So I'm coming into the base backwards. So if I thrust, that way this is so confusing I can never figure this out let me go to real time here let me go wings level maybe that will help me think about what I'm trying to do here
Okay, so now I'm wings level. Let me go back to 0 0.1. So, let me look outside for a moment. So I'm going that way. If I rotate the vessel so that the so that the nose is that way and the tail is that way, and I'm thrusting, it's going to push me this way. I cannot figure this out. I'm too stupid. All right, let me go to real time. Let me just pick a direction, and if it's wrong, then I'll go the other way. So let's go to 45 that way. All right, any bets? Is it right? What dumb luck. Okay. And I think as I go forward closer to the base, that line's going to continue to move. So I might want to go a bit more. Okay, we'll go with that. I think we're close enough. All right, now we'll take care of the rest of it. Translation. Once we get over top of the base. So now we only have 160 meters, 161 meters to get rid of. All right. So I'm going to rotate back to prograde or retrograde. And let's get time warped a little bit. Just get a little bit closer to the, to the base. Yeah, we should have kept burning just a little bit longer. So we're almost Let's so go ahead and go back out that way again. I wonder if 45 degrees is still the best angle. It probably is, right? Should be moving yep, down essentially. So now let's go completely retrograde and get rid of whatever velocity we have left. And then we'll work our way over to the base. All right, so we have 117 meters. I'm going to say, yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of all of it. <clears throat> Translation. All right, so that's pretty much most of our velocity gone, a little bit more. Okay, now we can just, we should be able to just translate at this point to get our everything lined up. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and switch over to VOR, VTOL. Well, we're too high. Because we're still, yeah, we still have a long way to fall. Um, Alright, that's fine. Rotation. Let me go ahead and rotate toward the base at this point. Okay, so we're only a few kilometers out from the base. And we have a long way to fall might even be able to use one of those auto landers for this, I'm not sure. Alright, let me go ahead and switch back over to VOR, or rather GPS VTOL, and we need to move toward the base, so... I didn't realize I was moving so fast in that direction. It doesn't make any sense to me. I hmm, wonder how that happened. Translation. Go ahead and translate to get lined up.
Okay, now we mostly just have to drop and move forward. So let's kind of look down. And the base is, uh, that might be it right there. It's inside of a small crater. I, I was trying to, it might, hmm. it might be inside that crater. I can't remember that actually. I think that might be it right there, that little spot. But I was just looking all over Vesta for a relatively flat spot, and I just had a heck of a time finding one. I spent probably 30 or 40 minutes on it, actually probably longer than that, probably in over an hour. And then I just gave up. I'm like, okay, this spot's flat enough. Rotation. Go ahead and go level horizon. Translation. All right, now we're just gonna do a bit of time warp here. Oh, that's a hundred. I meant to do ten. All right, we have rotation translation. So it looks like we're almost straight over top of the base. So I'm just gonna put in some reverse. Rest. Okay, so now mostly all we have to do is fall. And luckily, gravity will take care of that for us. Let's go ahead and zoom in on our location all the way. And I still didn't set up those cameras, so I can't have a, a camera view of the, of the landing spot. Darn it. Rotation. Translation. Rotation. And yeah, we're still too high for V O R V T O L. But I guess with this, we don't really need it. Translation. Rotation. Oops. Translation. Just trying to make sure I'm staying pretty well lined up with the landing last zone. Okay, let's go ahead and look down. Yeah, that little spot, that little speck, I think is our is our base. Okay, a bit more time warp. Starting to float away from the base there a little bit, so let's go back to real time. Rotation. Let's get it rotated. Let's go ahead and go level horizon again. Um, translation. And translate. So that we stay lined up. Okay, we're 70 kilometers in altitude. Sixty kilometers in altitude. And you can see, you know, we're not really falling very fast. Just take a little bit to eliminate that velocity. Get back to real time. I think the issue is that the the rock is rotating underneath of this. I kind of overdid that. Translation. I'm trying to figure out how to compensate for the motion that's happening, but I'm 
managed to overdo it. Alright, bit of time warp. Okay, we're about 30 kilometers up. Rotation. Let's go ahead and rotate around. Kind of keep the landing pad in our forward view. Translation. Trying to keep my horizontal speed so I'm moving towards the little blast zone. Alright, so we're 20 kilometers up. You can see we're falling mostly straight down. Alright, it's so about 5 kilometers up. Not too much more to go here, so we should be able to hopefully get down in this video. 5,000. Turn on the APU. Go ahead and start taking out some of that. Gear three thousand. Gear down and locked. So we're about two kilometers up, falling at forty meters a second. But two thousand. Rotation. Translation. Getting rid. Getting rid of that. Let's go ahead and take out the hover. I think what I can do. Let me go to this one. You are cleared to land. Just have that, having myself controlling the the descent rate this way. All right, so that way I can just focus on getting you know the lineup. Rotation translation. And what are the keys for this again is it two eight yeah so that way I can come to this view rotation translation all right so we're just 160 meters from the center of the blast zone about a kilometer up rotation And we're just descending now at five meters a second. We'll go ahead and let ourselves descend a little bit faster than that. And translation. Just try to get lined up with the blast zone. One we'll tilt our camera down. You can see our little our little base down there. Those are the three little blast zones that represent the landing area. Nine hundred. All right, so we're almost straight over the blast spot that we're going to land on. 700. Rotation. Start slowing things down a little bit. Translation. 600. Okay, so we're really well centered now. 400. In our horizontal speed, you can see it's pretty much zero. Rotation, 300. So we're 300 meters up. Maybe start slowing things down a little bit. Don't want to get a failure. Let me take 200. out that trim just because it's bothering me, even though it's not doing anything. Translation. Rotation, 100. 100 meters up. Really wish I had 75. those cameras set up. 75 up. Go and slow things down. 40. 30. 30 meters up. We're really well centered over 20. the pad. 20 meters up. Go ahead and slow things down even more. 15. 15 meters up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 
Six. Translation. Five. Four. Three. Two. Almost down. One. Wheels down. Wheels down now. It's just absorbing into the ground a little bit, those shocks. And turn on the parking brakes. Wheel stop. And that's wheel stop. All right. So let's make sure we... Okay, I guess that turned itself off. All of our autopilots are off. So let's uh, turn off the APU. So we made it with fuel to spare. We are at a base, so I'm going to say Using external O2. we can turn on external cooling. We have external 300, cooling online. 365 days of locks remaining, so yeah, the one, one additional module of locks would have been good enough. And yeah, we're over 20 minutes on this video, but let's just uh, take a look here. So this is the Vesta base, and it's just down here inside of a crater. And again, the reason that I picked this spot was because it was fairly flat but uh, if you look closely you can see if you know what you're looking for you can immediately spot one problem and that is right over here the solar panels we should be seeing blue solar panels right here the reason we don't see them is because they're technically below the texture so if I tilt the camera just a little bit and zoom in like that Let me get a bit closer there they are, you can see, now you can see the blueness of those panels, and it's because they are below the texture. And there's one other small problem right here. That corner of the base is technically floating off the ground because it's not sitting flat. You can see it right there. But again, I spent over an hour going around Vesta trying to find a place where the base would sit flat, and this was the one that uh, was the best before I finally gave up. But I would like to find a, a spot even better than that. So anyway, that is going to wrap it up for this mission. Let's just take a quick look at our Delta V. Although I don't... Well, yeah, this this should be accurate now because because we've burnt through all of our, our all of our modules, so we don't have any any extra fuel. So we got here with uh, 7,000 uh, 7, meters per second to spare. So that's quite surprising to me. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this mission. Uh, I know I did. I enjoyed setting up the space. And yeah, let me do a quick save here. And maybe we'll pick up from the spot and go do something else at a later date. That's going to wrap it up for this series. I will see you in the next mission, if there is one.